Hello and welcome to today's Ideas Vision Channel session. My name is Patrick Schick and I'm your host today. Before we start with the topic, some housekeeping things. If you have questions during the session, please ask them here in Zoom in the live session in the Q&A section or use our chat. If you have questions later on when you watch this video in the Ideas Vision Channel media library, just use the comment feature or our contact field. And now let's start and dig into the topic from barcode reading to measurements. The UI XLS fits all. Today I want to show you our brand new small board level and also available as housed versions UI XLS camera. And we want to talk a bit about possible applications and features we have. So from code reading over automated or visual quality inspection up to measurement applications due to the broad range of sensors, housing formats and still the small size, the UI XLS camera is the choice when it comes to price sensitive but still high quality applications. On the left side, we see here uh, barcode reading applications where well, we majorly see that with a price sensitive camera you cannot only read barcode you can also take an image of the object you read the barcode on it and store this information together with the code doing automated quality inspection of for example in this case metal sheets we will see later on some applications um, where we show you software with AI-based quality checks where you directly can use the UI XLS camera. Then, for example, when you're in the sold area, there's often still a visual inspection so that you see with your eyes what's going on inside of the application. Also here, the XLS uh, with its high-quality sensors, also with available sensors which are pretty well working on let's say critical uh, lightning circumstances you can also do a real visual um, quality inspection and last but not least due to the um, high resolution global shutter sensors there is also the possibility to implement measurement applications based on the ui xls camera to give you some boundaries of size and some technical facts the UI XLS board level camera has the 29 to 29 millimeter size. It consists of one single board. We have USB 3 on it and for sure I.O. connect so that you can fully control the camera over I.O.s, for example, to trigger or even to send out signals um, to other devices to interact with the camera. We have resolutions ranging from 2 to 12 megapixels, global or rolling shutter sensors. So either for high-speed applications with fast-moving objects, you can use the high-resolution global shutter sensors, or often a good choice when it comes to critical light circumstances, the rolling shutter sensor um, helps you to work with low illuminated objects. And sure, as you can see here, we offer it as a no mount, S or CCS mount, so that it could be perfectly designed in or integrated into a microscope, a machine, or even, if it is needed, a handheld device. And that's not all. We are here at the technical facts, and when you look on the the software facts. The UI XLS camera comes with basic on-camera feature set, well suited for standard application and you are able to use them in any Genicam compliant machine vision software. If there is a need for more features, you can for sure realize them in your own application or you use our IDSP SDK. And as we know all, there is often the need to have a smoother integration to make programmers life easier we 
offer a huge variety of possibilities to configure the camera with the IDSP cockpit, for example. So you can completely configure the camera, store a property file on camera or in a file, and when you're in your own application, you do not have to set up every single property of the camera. You just can reload um, the file or reload a configuration file from the camera. If you need, would like to need more uh, about this and have, get more information, we'll link up there a video um, where we describe all the features um, of the IDS Peak SDK and how you can integrate and use them. Additionally, the IDS Peak um, SDK offers also on-host functionality like auto gain or auto white balance. So this makes your life much more easier. So you have not to find every property by yourself. You just can use these auto features. And even with the IDS Peak IPL, the image processing library, we offer more features how to interact directly with um, the images the camera takes. And for sure, we offer um, different languages for the IDSP uh, SDK. We have C++, C Sharp, C, and for example, if you want to do a rapid prototyping application, we also offer a Python interface for the camera. And um, to give you not only the, the technical facts, I would like to give you a, a short view how you could easily integrate the camera. So in the next minutes, I will show you a short application we've uh, realized here with Tupyter Lab, um, a rapid prototyping tool which comes with, with Python. And then we integrate via the open source tool Setbar a code reader. A simple code reader realized with the UI um, XLS. What we'll do, as you can see here on the image, we have some trays which are um, barcodes printed on it. And for example, to handle your intra logistic or to check is this a, um, a clean tray or is that dirt or something inside of it, it makes sense to track the code and the image of the tray and the content of it. Is it clean? Is it um, just comes in or comes out? So typical Indrellos logistic topics. And we will dig now into the part that I show you how we realized this really price sensitive code reader with the UI XLS and Pi set bar. Okay, so um, we have here our uh, JuPyter notebook with the um, barcode reader. All we needed is um, download Pi set bar and OpenCV for um, Python, there are all the links you needed to implement this software. Also, we offer this Jupyter Lab later on in our IDS Vision Channel Media Library as a download, so you can directly um, integrate this in your own Jupyter installation and test it out or use it as a base for your own implementation. So for sure, we start here, um, we import all the necessary packages. So we need um, the Python image processing library, some IDS peak libraries, Pi set bar, CV2 and NumPy. Um, CV2 and NumPy here are uh, used that we can easily write on text on images. Or, and to highlight the, the barcode here. So nothing more is done with this tool. So we init, initialize the EDS Peak library. Um, we get an instance of device manager and we open the first available camera. So as you can see, a USB 3 Vision XLS camera is connected. As we do barcode reading for sure, a mono camera is connected. With the next call, we open the camera and uh, data stream to it that we are able to 
acquire images. We start the image acquisition and then we visualize um, the camera as the ca uh, visualize the image as it comes directly from the camera to get a first impression. So as we can see, here is a barcode written on it. And then we jump to our barcode reader, put the image inside of the reader, and let them decode all the found codes. And here that's what I called before. So we use here CV2 to get back a, a color image that we are able to, to draw uh, color lines into the image. And code was recognized. So, and as you can see here, the code gets detected as there is some error fault of, uh, included inside. Also, it's good enough not to uh, get the complete code. Um, the barcode reader detects also here the content. And as you can see, we implemented a lightweight price sensitive barcode reader, which is not only capable of reading 1D code, also 2D codes would be feasible to read with it. And as told, the source code will be available in our Ideas Vision General Media Library. So, a short example about how easily code reading can be done with the UIX LES camera. Besides classical machine vision algorithms, the UIX LES can also become the eye for AI machine vision applications. Together with DenkNet, the possibilities for the usage of the UI XLS are nearly infinite. From classification over uh, segmentation up to reading um, text in various um, circumstances, nearly everything is possible now. So I would give you some uh, example impressions on the um, left down, there's an example where single PCBs are segmented to be able to clearly distinguish. And with this, you have now a lot of possibilities from counting and measuring uh, the size of it, because you know every pixel of um, a single PCB from center of gravity, a calculation to be able to pick them uh, or even to count uh, them or make an, a visual yeah, um, clear distinguish of the, the single boards. In the upper right corner, uh, a similar application but extended to the point that we here count these disks. So they're not only segmented, they're additionally, they are counted and so you can get a direct result out of your network. And the example right down there is an example of reading various kinds of text with Denknetze, uh, with the Denknetze OCR. And as you can see, it doesn't matter if it looks nearly handwritten um, or it is in metal or it is printed or it is uh, going down or coming out of the, uh, the surface. Various kinds of codes are nearly readable out of the box. If you like to know more about the usage of DenkNet together with the IDS cameras, just contact your sales representative um, and get in discussion what's feasible with DenkNet and UI cameras. I hope I could give you good impression and insights for which application the UI XLS camera is the perfect choice. Every time when it comes to price sensitive but still high quality applications going from barcode reading up to measurement, the usage of artificial intelligence, or you need a camera which is uh, gets highly integrated in different um, devices or machines, with the UI XLS you're prepared for all these applications. Thanks for watching. I hope I could give you some insights.
And if you have further questions, now would be the time to ask them.